I am going to be refashioning this gorgeous jacket and I am going to be removing the sleeves. So I've done a similar project like this before um, where I add, removed the sleeves and added gathered sleeves, this big volume statement gathered sleeves. And the sleeves are mm, from the same pattern because I draft my own patterns. And But the only difference is that this sleeve is going to be pleated rather than gathered. Um, I am going to be removing just half, well it's going to be more than half of the sleeve. So I'm removing this part of the sleeve and I'm going to keep the cup area because I love this detail here and this trim that is happening here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's also slightly too big for me as well. So I'm going to show you a technique of how I'm going to put it closer to my body where I don't have to interfere with any of the construction lines that are in this jacket. What I am going to be using for the sleeves is going to come from this top, this gorgeous top. It's actually partly lined. As you can see, there's lots of holes in it. And that's what I like about it. So I'm going to need to remove the lining that's in here. Let me just put my hand in so you can see. So I'm going to remove the lining from this and unfortunately I won't be able to use all of this but whatever is left will be used in the project and it's going to be the same with the sleeves as well. I'll be using a little bit of the sleeves in order to create um, a tie for the back of the jacket and that's what's going to help bring it in closer to my body but I will definitely be using um, the sleeves in some of the projects so they won't go to waste. But let's get started. This is what it looks like on. It's quite a short jacket. It's above my hip level. This is what I like about it. These buttons here and the fastening which you hook and eyes on this tape here. It's really nice. Um, so it's a lot of it's a roomy jacket, so I will be taking out, not taking it out really, but I will be getting a better fit once I take the fullness out of the jacket, just, just with ties, so that should look cute. So it, it has a masculine look about it, and I just want to feminise it a little bit and give it those big statement sleeves. And like I said, it does look... It's a bit uniformed, Japanese, Chinese kind of feel to the jacket. So, I said, like I said earlier, I will be removing this part of the sleeve because I like this section here. So this will stay. But I'm going to reveal the lining. So like I said earlier, that I'm not going to keep the lining on in the top because I want to see the inner workings of the lining of the jacket. So that will be interesting. So I usually, I've got lots of samples of sleeves, cuffs, collars um, that I make up in fabric. And um, this is going to be my pattern. So I will be taking this and cutting it, cutting the sleeve out of the top with this. But it's meant for a blouse. And so I know I'm going to have to increase the measurements of this so it fits this jacket. So let's quickly put it on there. You wouldn't, I wouldn't do it at this stage, and literally when I take the sleeve out, then I would have put this on. I just want to give you a, an idea. Yes, like I said, it's, it, I do have to increase the measurements of this, because like I said, this is designed for a blouse. But it's gonna look short. I can see it already. Yes, it just comes to here. Yeah. So the next step is to remove the sleeves and then cut this sleeve out of this top. And I'm going to use some of the sleeve in order to craft to create some ties that will happen just at the back here. So let's get started on that now. So first thing, remove the sleeves. I could remove the sleeves now in front, or I could go inside of the jacket. Be the best. 
I'll show you from the inside. A lot of people find this really scary, but it is possible to remove it this way. So I need to find out where it has been sewn or sealed. And it's usually in the sleeves, not that sleeve. Yeah, there we go. So that's where you get this little amount of sewing in order to seal the sleeve short and also this is where you actually there's a technique called bagging out which enables you to put lining into a garment so i'm going to gosh i can't even see these stitches they're so fine they're very tiny so yeah So once I get into the jacket, you'll see the inner workings. Yeah, there we go. Then you just pull the jacket through this opening. There we go. So this is the lining. And there's the jacket. Okay, so I know I want to remove the sleeve and I want to save some of this section down here in order to attach the new sleeve that's going to go on there so the first thing to do this can be scary really have a look at it from this point um but it's 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 if you can get over the fear of just working on the inside of a garment it's it's good because you then see how a garment is engineered and put together it's quite interesting to to see right so where do we begin? Right. Don't necessarily want to pull in any of these tags away. If I do, then it's a case of just reattaching it. So it's always a good idea to remember that's where it connects because this allows the lining to stay with the jacket so they don't move around too much. You want a bit of movement in linings. That's why you just find these tabs in these kind of areas. So, let me see. Just going to insert my seam ripper into the seam of the sleeve. It's just making sure you just take your time, really. I want to make sure that I'm saving the sleeve roll and the shoulder pad. I've got some tape here that helps keep the shape of the sleeve as well. It's worthwhile just taking your time doing this as well because there could be a lot of fraying that's happening in the garment and you don't want to make it any worse. So bear that in mind, because you, you'll find in some garments that they are, they are overlocked, some they're not. And it just depends on how big the seams are.
Okay, the sleeve is now separated. Right, let me save that. And that would be a good opportunity here to base the shoulder pad into place if you wish because it, it is now separate. It has separated. So um, if you're new to this, I, I, I would just baste into place or just get some clips and do it that way. Okay, so I'm going to now remove the sleeve from the other side. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. Not only that, I also have lots and lots of sewing techniques that will help you on that journey. It will also help my channel to grow. Let's get back to the video. So there are both of the sleeves. Let me just remove that sleeve roll there. So now let's focus on the sleeve. So I've just clipped the shoulder pads in place. Like I said, you can also base those. So I'm going to pull this sleeve back up. Now I said I wanted to save this section, which I am going to do. So I need to cut roughly about there, I would say. Right, let me just get the top maybe involving some hand sewing here so this is going to be the edge the bottom of the sleeve this section here so it will be oh that's nice yeah okay yeah it's roughly about so I'm not going to sew it to the seam like that. And we can if you wish, but I just want this, because it's a nice neat and edge, so I might as well just use that. So I need some of this to fold back. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's about, that's about the right amount, so I'm just going to cut it across there. Brilliant, excellent. I'll just repeat this on the other side. Yeah, that's great. So now the sleeves are free from the jacket. I have got my little section in which my sleeve hem is going to be attached to. That's lining. So you can see a little bit of glimpses of this lining when the sleeve is going to be on, and that's what I want. And I think it's not that interesting, but it's it's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough. And I'm going to take one of these sleeves. And I'll take this one and I'm going to be making a couple of straps in order for it to be tied at the back so I get the jacket to fit me a lot better so that's what I'm going to do next and then we'll focus on the actual sleeve from this gorgeous top So what I need to do next is to press that and I can cut my straps, my little tabs, ties for the back of the jacket. I press the sleeve in half 
So I'm going to be using as much as this as possible so I create as less waste. So I'm going to just cut straight down here. You can measure this in um, my bonnet. Hopefully I've done a really straight line. So I'm going to get that amount of waste and hopefully I can use that on something. So I will then cut this in half. I'm going to keep this, I'm going to keep that in. I'm not going to cut that off. And then I'm going to sew each one of these. It's going to be slightly different because of the shape of the sleeve, but it's only slight, so you won't really notice that. So I'm just going to sew all the way around and down there. So we're cutting away a little bit from there. And the same with that. So when I go to the sewing machine to sew my sleeves, I will sew that at the same. I'll sew them at the same time. Now it's time for the top. So like I said earlier, it is lined. There's the lining. So I don't want the lining. That will be used in some future project. I just want this gorgeous fabric. Oh. So I'm going to have to cut the line away. So I'll bring the camera down so that you can have a look at what I'm going to be doing. Okay, let's turn this inside out. So I'm going to be using the center, this section of the top but I need to get rid of the lining and it's attached to the seams okay so all right I'll yeah I'll be definitely cutting that away because the stitch on that is really small so what I'll do is I'll cut the lining away up until here I don't think I'll be you I won't be using The width of it may be narrows down. I've cut away the lining. I haven't taken it completely off the garment. The main reason being is that I possibly will, not possibly, I know I will be using this in another project, but I just don't want to interfere with it too much than what I necessarily need to because this is what I'm this is what I need this space here is what I need so if you don't have to interfere with that then I won't it just means it possibly will be a bit difficult when it comes to um cutting out the, the, the top part of the sleeve but that's going to be fine it just means I just have to go slow that's it but this is a space that I I need so I need to make sure that the hemline here is all nice and neat and even put a couple of pins in there and then I'll need to do the necessary adjustments to my sleeve to make sure it fits into the armhole of this jacket yeah that's nice so I know the length that I, um, that I do require and this section here, the front, the actual bust is sewn into the lining of the, into the lining so it makes it just a little bit to take that away. The back was a lot more easier but that's fine, no that's good. So I'll make the adjustments to my pattern and then I'm ready to cut the sleeve out. Okay, I've made the adjustment to my sleeve. I'm now ready to cut out. I've got my heavy weights on here. And then just cut. Okay. 
Okay, that is done. That's excellent. Ooh, really nice. Now all I do is put my markings in for my pleats and then I will be ready to sew the sleeve up. I just want to quickly show you what is left. I've got to work with on another project. That's a lovely shape actually. Even with this kind of spine that's running down from the side seams. Yep, that's going to be, so that's the wrong side. Let's have a look at, quickly have a look at the right side. Some nice curve shape as well. So yeah, that'll be definitely used in another project. The sleeves are sewn. Oh, they look gorgeous. It's like a cage. That is gorgeous. Please on top. The other one is done as well. It looks so nice. Okay, so the sleeves are now ready to be set in. I've also sewn the little straps that are going to be at the back. So that is what it looks like once it's been turned out. And that is what it was. And then it turn it out and it looks like that. So I just need to cut some of that away and turn that one out and then it'll be ready to be sewn into the back. So the sleeves are done, the straps are done, the sleeve, the end of the sleeve is now prepared. So what I did, um, I hand sewn that section. So just whip stitched it into place. So that is ready. Oh, let me just put the sleeve on. Let's see what it's going to look like. So what you're going to see is the lining. You'll be able to see the lining of the jacket. It's going to look like that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Gorgeous. Go look nice. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Can't wait to finish it now. Okay. So what do I need to do, do next? Right, the sleeves are ready to be put in. Oh, let me show you this section. Right, so we've got the shoulder pads. Now the shoulder pads need to be covered. This is the sleeve shoulder pad now this is the top of the arm hole shoulder pad so if i didn't cover that you'd be able to see the shoulder pad and i was contemplating whether i should leave it um but i decided to cover it so i played around with it kind of looking like that and it's like you know what i'll do is just i'll just cover it so i've got a strip of the sleeve and i'm going to cover it like that so it looks a little bit neater but then they're gonna have got this uh, probably let's take that away no i don't mind that being there so i actually want you to see the workings of the sleeve lining um and even the sleeve itself all this raw edge i think it's nice um so yeah i'm gonna play around with that but first of all I'm going to pull the jacket to the right side and then I'm going to sew the back and sew the straps to the back. That is what I'll do first and then it's just a case of sewing on the sleeves and it'll be ready to be put on. Oh, I can't wait. So, what next? It's going to be sewing this to the back of the jacket. I've got seams here. Um, it's quite a short jacket, so there's a little 
tab section in the back. I'm going to put it above that. Let me see if I put it into the seam. Hmm. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I think I will do that. I think I will put it into the seam because the option was to sew it on the right side of the jacket. So I'm going to put it into the seam. So I'm going to get my seam ripper now. I'll bring it down and show that. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I've already sewn one into place here. So it's just, it's quite simple really. It's just a case of making sure that it's going to be even on both sides. Just get my seam ripper into the seam and just gently tease those stitches open like so and then get this and insert this into the I've just gone through the arm all here into the seam here and then pin that into place And then making sure that when I come to sew that I'm stitching in the original stitch line of the jacket. Okay, that's then they are now sewn into place. Let's just pull that through. gorgeous yeah that looks nice yeah happy with that yeah that's nice actually okay got my first sleeve put that into there oh that is going to be so gorgeous Is. That is so nice. Oh, okay, so um, I now need to decide how I'm going to do this. So I need to put, need to sew this to the inside. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I will just, yeah, that's a nice finish there. So this is where the, so I'm actually covering the shoulder pad, which is into the seam allowance. Just see how that goes, that looks nice. But it's deciding how I'm going to, ooh, that looks nice. I like that. Or am I going to machine stitch and put it that way or hand sew it? No, I think I will be machine sewing. Yeah, that looks nice. I do the hand, put it that way. to be flattened. And I think going this way will give it more volume and height. Yeah. Yeah, that is what I'll do. Okay, so that's gonna be a case of me then pinning and basting. And it's going to be a little bit of, not that much. Yeah, a little bit of gathers to the front. I'll actually do a little tuck there. And that will add to more volume. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm going to Pin that into place and then base and then show you. It's the following day. Um, it was a bit too dark to continue with um, inserting the sleeve, so I just called it a day. And, and it's a brand new, well, 
anyway <laughs> it's another day and where were we we were at inserting the sleeves now I've got a video tutorial on how to insert setting sleeves and this is what this process is so I'll put links to that in the description um, so it's going to be a bit tricky with this one because the alignment's already attached but when it comes to refashioning like I said many times it's it's, it's a process of thinking on your feet and if you're new to this it's going to seem daunting um, but if you try and think of the garment not being totally constructed it may help I know that sounds difficult um, but it may help um, so I'm going to show you now what this looks like but it is quite easy and I know from an experience expert expert like myself um, it's easy for me to say that but it can be, it really can be. It's just a case of going slowly is going to be the key and pinning and basting as well. And yeah, I think I think those are going to those are gonna help you to complete your project and patience. Yeah. So I bring the camera down so you can have a look what I'm going to be doing next. So the jacket is turned to the wrong side and this is this is the tricky part this is the part that may you know deter some people from thinking oh my gosh I can't do this um, but all it is a case is just putting the line to one side and you have the armhole here that's it that's the armhole so this is the right side of the garment in there you want to get the right side of your sleeve and just insert it into the armhole like that and then match up your seams where are my seams so difficult with this one oh there we are with the seam that's going to be in your garment start there and place a pin it inside and then matching up the center of the sleeve head to the shoulder seam. This really has got a shoulder seam, but it will be about there. Putting the pin in, and then just working your way around. And then I would base, and then you're just ready to take it to the sewing machine and sew that into place. I have inserted the sleeves, they are both sewn in and I am now ready to do some hand sewing. So it's just attaching the hem of the sleeve to that section um, of the sleeve of the jacket. So it just means we have to remove these pins. I'm going to use a, a, a small, let me see, a slip stitch I think I'll be using on this, yeah. A slip stitch to keep it in place and yeah and then it will be ready for me to try on that looks so gorgeous already you see that lining in there <gasps> that's really nice okay so I'm going to do spend some time doing some hand sewing and removing you know, I've got to remove the basting stitch that is in that sleeve, I removed it from that one and then I'll try it on and then you can have a look to see how gorgeous it will be. Yes, you know what I'm going to say, hand stitching. It's the best solution for good quality refashioning of garments or even if you're sewing something from scratch so wherever there is a need to do hand sewing do it it's good practice as well um, but it's not necessary if you, if you really don't like it then it is possible to for instance to finish off the hem by machine all you have to do is sew that the hem first before attaching the actual sleeve to the shoulder so it's possible to do it that way um, but I would ha always highly recommend that you get into practice of actually hand sewing because it does improve the quality of the garment and it makes it last longer and it's also a case of 
that you are more in tune with the garment and what I mean by that is if you're more in tune in the garment then you're more likely to wear it more often, keep it for longer, um, you're not going to be throwing it away anytime soon so that's what I mean by that. Do fit, do fit at every stage possible that like you think you think that something isn't working or something is working you just want to see how what it looks like then fit. The more often it fits, you fit, the better results that you will get. Um, I mean I have fitted this a couple of times but you know when I'm doing videos just the whole process is just quite long and you know I don't, I don't want to be watching my videos for up to two hours. Um, like I said do hand sewing, um, pin pin and base, yeah basing is a good thing. When when you do base that's that's the time to actually start fitting and remember when you turn the garment to the wrong side not to be too daunting Daunted, not to be too daunted by the fact that you know you are inside the garment and it looks so weird and you don't know what is what. Focus on what you need to do, and I hope I've shown that throughout the video. Just focus on that area. Don't focus, focus on anything else that's happening uh, until you've actually completed that particular process. And then, if you want to explore more, then you know you're more than welcome to do so. If you take anything. If you find it hard to get access to any particular part, then the tabs that are holding the lining to the jacket, just un um, those, rip those seams out, those stitches out, and just remember to put them back because that helps to keep the lining to the jacket so that you, the lining doesn't move about when you're actually wearing the jacket. So do remember that, and that that's going to be key. Uh, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else or other than just saying just take your time just be patient and also remember the garments how it's almost half made so it's worthwhile spending your time on it and yeah that's all that's it but yeah that's the only advice that i can share with you just take your time and enjoy the whole project and the process too Okay, time for the big reveal. Yes, that's gorgeous. Just look at those sleeves. Let me give you a close up. You see the lining in there. Oh, guys. Oh. Right, let me just fasten it up. Tricky person in this one, actually. There we go. <gasps> yes. You can see it fits me better now, it looks a bit better. I can wear pole in it with this, and even put a pole in it. Gorgeous. Let's have a look at this little detail at the back. This time. lovely. Yeah, it's, it's totally just transformed the jacket just removing the sleeves or section of the sleeves. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is going to be really nice. Wearing with um, even a pencil skirt and a polar neck is a lot of detail. That is just so gorgeous. And the and the tie as well. It's a good, it's a nice finish just to bring it in so it fits me a bit better. See? 
this is this is what happens when you actually refashion garment. You give it another another life. You know, nobody would believe that these weren't the original sleeve, and this was the intention of this design to this jacket. It's gorgeous, so gorgeous. Yeah, happy with that. So we can actually do our bit, cause look, a new garment from an old garment. We can actually save so many garments from going into landfill or having to be burned. Um, yeah, but let's let's just refashion. Let's just refashion the garments out there. I mean, this is you wouldn't you wouldn't think this wasn't the intended first garment. And I personally think I don't know whether you agree with me or not. But well, this is better. So if I was part of the design team, this is what we would have ended up ended up um, having to go to production. This, because <laughs> it's gorgeous. It really is. Um, so yeah. So if you are new to my channel or you haven't subscribed, then please do so, because that way it will, uh, it will enable me to grow my channel, it will enable me to put more content out there to inspire and motivate you, so you can. You, you know, you, you can do something. So don't think that if you're refashioning that you can't do garments from scratch because you can, because it's just a slower process. And that's what the industry needs. It needs slower processes in order for us to get garments out there. So if you are a fashion designer, don't give up on that dream. Just remember that it's sustainability is going to be key for, for, for the industry and whether that is the industry doing what they're doing and you're doing your part by making garments, you are part of that process to make sure that that production isn't going to be as fast, producing quality garments. And then I think I showed that because I'm going on, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up and please do share with your friends. If you have any comments or queries, then put those in the comment box below. And remember that I'm here to share, inspire and mo motivate you to refashion clothing. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.